Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. It's been like over a year since I filmed last, and I'm finally happy to be re-uploading. And if you see this little fluff that keeps ro roaming around, this is my new puppy Gunner, who I guess is going to come up here and say hi. Gunner, are you going to get up here? You going to come up and say hi, baby? Gotta lay down. Gotta lay down. This is Gunner. He's about seven months old. He's my best friend. Are you going to lay down? Are you, if you're going to hang out, you got to... Okay. Anyway. So, it's been over a year since I've uploaded a video last... Okay, yes, Gunner, that is the microphone. Please don't sniff that. They can hear you sniffing that. Um, it's been over a year since I filmed last, and I just wanted to get on and say... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is funny. Gunner... Yeah, you're, you're up there and you're right there. I have two monitors in here and he can see himself on both of them and he's not quite sure how he feels about it. Gunner, I love you, but can you get down? Could that be a good thing? Could, could you, you can lay on my feet? You wanna lay down there? Or can you go over there? Can you go over there? I know. You, no, you can't go over there. That's where all the perfume is. Gunner, I'm going to have to ask you to get down, please. Ready? Go that way. Or that That's even better. Okay. So anyway, since um, I've been gone the entire time, um, most of it was completely remodeling this room. Um, I you know, just had an issue with some of the shelving in the other room, and it's the same room, but it's just the shelving was bothering me in some spots, and... I mean, I gotta fix things like this, that I just, that's a whole thing. But I wanted to, to completely redo this room. So with the help of my lovely husband, we completely gutted this room down to the bones and rebuilt it. Um, we put insulation in all the walls, so it's double insulated to hold the cold in here even better so it doesn't cost as much to make it cold, even it doesn't cost that much to make it cold, but whatever. Um, and yeah, but finally back, finally reviewing. I'm um, going to come back and review a whole lot more, I hope. It's just trying to get back into the groove of things and finding time in my schedule to do it. Um, I decided, though, that my first video back, and I will eventually give you guys a full tour of this room, so don't worry, that will happen. Um, I wanted to hop on and show you guys everything I've gotten since I filmed the last. I figured that would be, like, a fun thing. Now, I know this isn't everything because... There's some things I've shown you guys on Instagram, but also, like, I tried to grab everything that I got since I filmed, but I know it's not all of it. I just know. And there is a little surprise that I'm going to hold toward the very, very end of this video. And um, I got a very rare perfume for a very decent deal that was sealed. And um, I'm going to open it and smell it on camera with you guys for the first time at the end of this video. So... I think Gunner might be getting down now. No? That's the microphone again. You can't go over there. You gotta go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Nope. Go that way. Nope. Go that way. Good boy. See? With the little coaxing he goes. So, we'll hop on first with, obviously, um, Mod Blush. And Mod Vanilla. The lid fell off of that one. Um, I did share on Instagram that I got these ones, so... But got those by Miss Ariana Grande. Of course, I did pick up Eilish number two by Billie Eilish. This reminds me of something, and I can't quite put my nose on it. Hi, baby. I know. <clears throat> what else? I did... Is this the only one I have? Yeah. So, I got um, Love Rush by Miss Paris Hilton. Definitely... A gardenia heavy scent and reminds me a lot of something again Kim would release. Um, what else did we get? Um, I'm gonna do all those together. No, we got Whitney Houston. Whitney, Whitney Houston. I did also get, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth. This is another good one. Um, 
We got some Hollister fragrances. So I got Hollister Festival Night. This one, if you can see it at a Burlington or a Ross or TJ Maxx or whatnot, definitely pick it up. Um, because it's a really, really good one. It's like a warm vanilla. It's got vanilla vibes to it. He always wants to play with me when the worst opportunity is. But if he's not in here, he's going to freaking like talk and scream and it's going to ruin everything. So he's got to at least be in here. Gunner, go lay down. Go lay down. Sit. Good boy. Okay, we also got Hollister Canyon Sky. I'm not reviewing any of these because um, we will be here forever. Um, Hollister, I think this is Free Wave number two. This one, I like this one a lot. It's a very crisp scent. Um, do, do, do. We're going to put these here so I don't accidentally kill the surprise. This is um, another one of those Hollisters. This is Festival Vibes. Again, with that like twisty top. Um, what else? I got Hollister Canyon Rush. There we go. Canyon Rush. Um, ooh, that lid came off. Um, Sarah Jessica Parker SJP Stash Privé. Um, this is definitely different from the original Stash by a long shot. Um, I did pick up, I think these are only two. Um, this is the Pink Sugar Red Velvet and then the Berry Blast one as well. He thinks he's being sneaky. Trying to get in here. Oh no, he laid down. Okay, I take that back. Um, I did pick up these, which now I just realized that that lid was not on. Okay, there it is. Um, so I didn't pick up this. I've had this one. This is the original Rock Princess, but I did pick up the new Rock Princess. Um, is there a difference based off of just smelling these straight out of here? Slightly. Um, supposedly they, they are different fragrances. I don't know. They're very similar though. They have a very similar vibe. So they might not, they might be completely different fragrances note wise, but they share a similar scent DNA. Um, that's for the very, very end. We got, um, I did pick up this one. This was the CK1 Beach Days. I really, really like this one because it's got like, I think mango and like an iced tea note and it's really, really good. I really like this one. Um, I did pick up these four and the newly announced I have obviously will be getting. Um, we got Naked Fantasy. Do not focus on my face, focus on the bottle. Naked Fantasy, Blissful Fantasy. I got Fantasy Sheer. Sheer. And Electric. So I did get the most recent four. Um, and I obviously am going to be getting Jungle um, once it ever comes out when they keep changing the date. So who knows? Um, I did pick up the Clinique My Happy. This is the Cocoa and Cashmere. This is a really, really nice vanilla fragrance. Um, like vanilla, cocoa, cashmere. Definitely cocoa cashmere is a great name for it because definitely what it is is a cocoa cashmere fragrance. So, um, but I, oh, um, I got the Cacharel, the chocolate one. And I need to get the new red one that's out. Um, but this, for a chocolate fragrance, I really, really like this one. Um, I started collecting the Guess uh, Seductive Fragrances. So this is the Flirt one. This is, I believe, the original. Um, I got the red one. And this is what started it was because of the red one. Um, and I also got Charm, which is the purple one. Um, come on. 
There we go. Which is the purple one. I do really, really want to try the new blue one. Because that sounds lovely. Um, and I want to pick up the rest of the, those just to have that collection. Um, I did have a lovely person who um, follows me on here and on Instagram send over um, a couple unreleased fragrances. One of them was the Love Rush fragrance. And my friend John also sent me a bottle of that. So I have two bottles of that. Um, but she sent me Bella Note early. Um, and this is like the more intense version of Bella by Vince Camuto. Um, and she also sent me a bottle of the Floreal, which I believe that's like the 10th anniversary edition one. And then I picked up um, Davina, which is the yellow one, because I still needed that one. And I still need uh, Brillante, I think. And then I'll have all of these. And then I'll need to get um, the Illuminate and the other Vince Camutos. Um, I got the Daisy Dream Days and the Orange one. Which I think I now have all the Daisy Dreams. Which I, This is my favorite bottle. I wish he wouldn't have discontinued this and stopped it because I love these. Um, he keeps sneaking in. He knows he's just a little twerp. I love him, but he's a little twerp. Um... And then we got Juicy Couture Petals Please. This again, another white floral heavy fragrance, but with the Viva La Juicy Sweetness a little bit. Um, then we also got Pink Couture and that bottle. And then, of course, I did pick up the entire Rock Rainbow collection. So we got Ra Rara Rouge. I'm trying to figure out where like the best spot is since the reset up with this camera um oh so orange it's sunny honey which i love this one it's so it's sunny honey is probably my favorite out of the line um it's a really really nice one um Uh, <clears throat> palm, pr palm trees, please. This is another really good one. I like the greenness of this fragrance. Um, so that's palm trees, please. I said I wasn't going to review these, and here I am actually reviewing some of them. Um, Bye Bye Blues, which is the first one I got. I picked this up at Burlington for, like, super cheap. And then also the purple, which was pretty in purple. Um, I tried to pick these all up relatively cheap, and I did a pretty good job of that, I believe so. Um, and then I picked up... Ooh, I almost skipped all of these. There's no order to these. Um, the Juicy Tour We Play. Um, this is the yellow one, which you're going to ask me the name of these, and I don't remember them. I don't remember these, and I feel terrible about it, but I got the yellow one, the purple one, stop focusing on other things and focus on what I want you to focus on, hello, thank you, purple, the blue one, is it like, it's not focusing on this microphone, and if it is, I'm going to be mad. Um, this is the amber one, so this is the new one that came out, so this is the amber one, and then the rose one, that was also the new one, which, of course, Beauty and the Beast, we had to get this one, and then the pink one, so we have all of them, and then, for the finale of all of this, um, I picked up a Scottish Cherry in Japan. Which, this is the closest scent that has come to my nose since Cherry in the Air. This is, Cherry in the Air is one of my all-time favorite fragrances. I love that fragrance. My husband loves that fragrance. We've gone through an entire bottle of that fragrance. It's just ridiculous. And I also picked up Florida Soul. And, like I said, Cherry in the Air favorite like pretty much gone but we went to a shop and they had like weirdly 
some older Escada fragrances, and a lot of them were sealed, and they also had some tester bottles, so I'm not sure where they got these fragrances, but they are legit. I did check them to make sure they were all legit and real, and um, I got a new bottle of Cherry in the Air. This was a tester. I'll stop focusing on my face. Focus on Cherry in the Air. Thank you. Um, and it was a tester, but I have a whole full brand new bottle of Cherry in the Air to save me. And not only do I have a bottle of Cherry in the Air to save me, I have a second bottle of Cherry in the Air that is sealed, never to be opened. Well, I mean, we'll see. But I have a second bottle, and it's going to stay sealed in this cold room. And my surprise, Moon Sparkle. I got a sealed bottle of Moon Sparkle. It has taken me so much strength to not open this bottle. I made a pack with myself that I was not going to open this until I filmed it on camera. And it has taken me so hard not to. And I'm very proud of myself because this has been like almost a year in the making. Like, not even kidding. But we're going to open her and test her for the first time. He heard Cellophane. He got excited. I'll, well, I'll give that to play with. He'll be excited for it. Nothing? Oh, I did pick up two bottles of this in the meantime. A few Luigi's used to cry. Um, they came back out with this. I forgot that. So I did pick up two more bottles of that just so I had a full bottle and a backup because mine was almost empty. So, there she is in all her glory, Miss Moon Sparkle. Okay. Ooh, I like her. I understand now. It's fruity. It's sweet. Got a little darkness to it, but like slightly like sparkly. Yeah, like I definitely Moon Sparkle is a perfect name for it. This smells amazing. I love this so much. This is I like this a lot. I definitely do. Very well worth it. Very glad I was able to uh, hold off. Oh, you don't like it, Mr. Sneezy Pants? Well, don't get in the downwind. Sorry. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much. Um, it's been a pleasure to come back and film. And um, I'm finally glad that this room is done. There will be more videos coming. He's trying to get into trouble back there. Um, more videos will be coming. I know I said that last time and then just fell off the face of the earth. But I will be coming back with more videos. So <laughs> thank you. I, I understand. Let me do the outro. Anyway. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, which I guess is not Twitter now, it's X. But, A the S Perfume, Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. And as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Bye bye.